thank you for coming today. Uh, just before a holiday, it must be difficult, but thank you again. Uh, I hope you enjoy this webinar. Uh, the title is Returning to Work Without po the Possibility of Losing Your Benefits. Um, can you all hear me? Okay, thank you. So before I get started on the Ticket to Work program, one of uh, Social Security's um, uh, uh, that they have to help you get back to work without losing your benefits, it's called Ticket to Work. I just wanna follow up with you to make sure that you know that they, you can download the Red Book from Social Security for free online. And I'd like to give you that website. All the information I'm talking about today is in the Red Book, Social Security uh, Red Book. Um, and they have other information there that might be, uh, that, that you might wanna look at for benefits. So the website is https colon backslash backslash www.ssa.gov backslash redbook, R-E-D-B-O-O-K backslash. There you find all the benefits that you're entitled to under the Social Security Administration. I have a copy right here and you can download it for free. It's about, I'd say 35 pages, no, about 60 pages. And they have an index of everything that you need to know. So another thing I wanted to tell you is that the information that I'm going to give you is um, a basic information, a basic outline of the Ticket to Work program. However, Social Security looks at it as a case by case basis if you're eligible and what you're eligible for. So each case is different, but I'll give you a, a sort of basic outline of our Ticket to Work program with Social Security. The number you want to call to see if you're eligible for the Ticket to Work program, I'm gonna give you, it's 866-968-7842. Again, 866-968-7842. That's called the Ticket to Work program. And they have counselors that, will, that you can talk to and you know, decide if what, what eligible ability that you would need or if you are eligible for any of their programs. It's a very good um, counselor there that I have spoken to. So I hope this helps. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm just gonna give you a little outline of one of the uh, resources that they have. And it's called again, the Ticket to Work program. It's for SSDI and SSI eligible uh, uh, patients or clients. Okay. The Ticket to Work program is an innovative program for people with disabilities who want to work and participate in planning their employment. The Ticket to Work program increases your available choices when obtaining employment services, vocational rehab services, and other support you may need to get or keep a job. It is free and voluntary service. You can use the ticket if you choose, but there is no penalty for not using it. You may not be subject to a continuing disability review while you are using your ticket. But again, each case is different. It's done on a case-by-case -case eligibility. So I advise that you call before you, um, you start your process. You'll get more information. How can, I, how can I take part in the Ticket to Work program? This program is available in all 50 states and 10 United States territories. Many social security disability insurance and social security income disability beneficiaries ages 18 to 64 are eligible to obtain services from a state VR agency or another improved provider of their choice. We call these approved providers employment networks. There are public or private organizations that have an agreement with Social Security to provide employment services to beneficiaries with disabilities. You can participate in the program by contacting the Ticket to Work helpline, which again, I will give you 1-866-968-7842. They're open from Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Eastern Time. Okay, 
Just give me, let me give you a little bit of outline of how it works. Okay. The Ticket to Work connects you with a free employment service to help you decide if working is right for you. Prepare you for work. Find a job to maintain success while you are working. If you choose to participate, you will receive services such as career counseling, folk rehab, and job placement and training from authorized Ticket to Work service providers, such as employment networks or state vocational rehab. The service you provide will serve you will serve as an important part of your employment and will help you on your journey. Who qualifies? Again, it's a case by case basis, and a lot of the things that I'm outlining may have may, may have changed for 2021. So again, I advise you to please call the Ticket to Work program counselor at the number that I gave you, 866-968-7842. This is just a basic outline. Everyone ages 18 to 64 who receives Social Security Disability Insurance and SSI benefits because of his or her disability is eligible to participate in the Ticket to Work program. Ticket to Work program, again, is free and it is voluntary. Social Security no longer sends paper tickets in the mail and you don't need a paper ticket to participate. Your eligibility will be verified by the service provider with whom you choose to work. Uh, you can call the ticket help, uh, helpline again at that number to find out how you wanna proceed with your Ticket to Work program. And if you are eligible, it's 866-968-7842. Just one moment, let me just get how basic works. Any questions so far? Okay. What are work incentives? Social security work incentives are rules that help beneficiary enter, re-enter, or continue employment by protecting their eligibility for cash payments and or health care coverage until they achieve supporting employment. Whether you're looking for a job for the first time or returning to work after an injury, work incentives can help you through the transition and towards your financial independence. The trial, there's also called the trial work period is one of the many work incentives, again, along with the ticket to work available to social security SSDI recipients. Again, it's a, it's a case by case basis. So you need to call the counselor at the social security at the number that I have given you many times. <laughs> so what, what is the trial work period? If you receive SSDI, your trial work period allows you to test your ability to work for at least nine months. During your trial work period, you'll receive full SSDI benefits, not SSI, no matter how much you earn, as long as you report your work activity and to continue meet Social Security rules for disability. The TW, the trip. Excuse me, the trial work period, TWP, continues until you accumulate the nine service months, not necessarily connect consecutive within a rolling period of 60 months. This is basically for SSDI. And it's, it's with the Social Security. And you can call the counselor just to see how, how it works and what the eligibility is. Okay, Social Security uses that amount you have earned in a month before subtracting taxes to decide, to decide if a month counts towards your trial work period. In 2021, if you earn $940 or more or work more than 80 hours in self-employment in the month, you're considered to have worked a trial work period service month, which is counted towards your trial work period of the nine months. Okay. <clears throat> You may have heard of the substantial gainful activity, but this amount differs from the trial work period amount. Social Security uses SGA later during your path to financial independence to determine your eligibility benefits. And the SGA changes. And I don't, uh, you'd have to call the counselor again at that number to find out what the SGA, substantial gainful activity, that Social Security has for 2021. <clears throat> Unlike the SGA, substantial gainful activity, you may have heard, uh, Social Security cannot use other work 
incentives to determine if your work activity meets or exceeds the established amount. So in 2021, if your pre-tax income is 940, that's what they have right now, you're using a month of your tra uh, trial work period. What happens when my trial work period is completed? After you complete your trial work period, you will begin your, that's the nine months. After you completed it within the five year period, it doesn't have to be consecutive. You will begin your 36 month extended period of eligibility, EPE. The work incentive is a safeguard during which time social security will evaluate your work and earnings based on SGA levels to determine your eligibility for benefits. It says here in 2021, SGA for the extended work period is 1,310 for individuals who are not blind. If you are blind for 2021, it's 22,190. So you have nine months within a five year period to see if it works. And then after that, you get 36 months of the extended work period, extended period of eligibility. So it's a really good uh, benefit for somebody who wants to try out and see if it works for them. But again, it's a case by case basis and you would have to call the counselor at SS um, Social Security to find out if you're eligible and what your eligibility may entail. It could be different for each person. It depends on, I don't know what they base it on and they wouldn't tell me because I'm not part of the uh, program. So again, 866-968-7842. The counselor there is very helpful. They will call you back and uh, you go through your whole case with them to see if it would benefit you. And I think it's a very good incentive to help people return to work. I hope this helps and that you would call Social Security at least to find out the information and how much SGA they're offering in 2021. Uh, it changes every year and sometimes every six months. So you have to really be updated on the rules. Also, don't forget that you can download the Red Book that has all this information in it. And again, that website is https colon backslash backslash www .ssa dot gov, gov backslash red book backslash. And that will have all the information that I basically gave you a little bit of an outline of it, but it goes into more details when you, when you get your, when you download the, uh, the red book. And again, they have the telephone number there and I'll give it to you again, because it's really important to know that not everybody may qualify for this benefit and you need to uh, contact the counselor at social security. And again, it's 866-968-7842. Thank you. Any questions? Do we have any questions? It's a lot of information. What about my medical coverage? That's, uh, should I answer that? Oh, now I couldn't get any information regarding the medical coverage that uh, because they wouldn't talk to me further because I'm not participating, but you can call the counselor at social security and ask them, I'm sure they'd be very helpful. Uh, I didn't want to just take any information out of here that uh, about the medical coverage. because I think that's an important question to ask them to see if your medical coverage continues or how that works. Any more questions? Also, if you wanna contact me, uh, at 212-824-7596. I'm here Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday. We can set up an appointment perhaps, and you can come to my office and we can call Social Security together 
at my office. I think that would be very helpful also. Um, just call me and I'll make an appointment with you and we'll set up a, a conversation with the counselor. I just want to remind everyone also that it's a case by case basis. So it's imperative that you uh, work with Social Security on this to see if you qualify and how your benefits would work, given what uh, your background and what information you have of your uh, own uh, you know, background. So each person is different and each background is different. Also, please, please feel free again to call me at the 212-824-7596. And I'll either talk to you on the phone or you can come in now and we can uh, discuss the Ticket to Work program and other benefits of Social Security. I'll be very happy to hear from you. I'm sorry? Just ask the last time for questions before we go. Because a couple more people came in. Oh no, it's so late. Yeah, you can just ask if someone has a question. Does anyone have a question that they'd like to ask me or Ariane? Let's talk to them about the next series was coming up. Okay. I get that. Yeah. Okay, I'd like to remind everyone, uh, I don't know the exact date, but it'll be one month from today, perhaps, that we're going to have a wonderful webinar, and it's called Land a Job. Um, and it's done by Michael, um, the, it's done by a, a person by the name of Michael who gave the webinar last month. I don't remember his last name, I'm not at my desk. And he's going to be talking about landing a job and what benefits that may have to help you land a job and to see what you're entitled to. So that's next month. I don't have the exact date, but it's usually four month, four weeks from today. Any other questions before we stop the uh, webinar? Would that affect my housing? I'm not certain. Again, I don't know anything about your background or your housing information. But again, I urge you to call this number 866-968-7842. That's Social Security. They have counselors there who would be able to ask that, answer that question, I'm sure. All this information is not in, it may not be in the Red Book either. So again, like I always urge people to call or to make an appointment with them. Thank you. Don't forget to download the Social Security Red Book. I'll give you, the, I'll give you that information again, one moment. Where is it? Hold on. Oh, here it is. Again, the information for the Red Book, you might find a lot of information there, www.ssa.gov backslash Red Book backslash. So it's HTTPS colon backslash backslash www.ssa.gov backslash Red Book backslash. And again, I urge to call that number to get the, the information about what the recent information is about the Ticket to Work program. And uh, since you are, if you're a beneficiary of Social Security, they will talk to you in depth about it, I'm sure. Okay. 
everyone. Thank you, everyone. Talk to you. See you next week, next month, four weeks from today, hopefully. Should I just press in?